here with ESPN Sal Palantonio. Sal, the big news in Denver this year, the addition of Case Keenum, somebody you know very well. What do you think that he'll be able to bring to Denver? Well, first of all, I'm a huge Case Keenum fan. I like the way he can throw accurately on the run, what you need to do in the NFL. We see it in Carson Wentz. We saw last year he did a great job of it with the Minnesota Vikings. Secondly, he's a faith-based, good-hearted, tough leadership, checks all the boxes. He's going to be a guy who's going to calm down your quarterback room. He's going to be a guy who's going to be respected in the huddle, respected in the locker room. Uh, he does. I, I talked to your head coach a couple of days ago here in Orlando, and he said, Sal, here's our motto for the 2018 season. We're going to play more and say less, which I really liked. That's Case Keenum. It's going to be perfect for Denver then. That sounds like a good fit. Perfect for this coach at this time <laughs> and this team at this time, I think. Really, better than Cousins, I think, because Kirk Cousins, because I think – Case doesn't turn the football over, and Cousins has a propensity to do that. After the first wave of free agency here, where do you think things stand in the AFC West? Wide open, new head coach in Oakland. Uh, I think the, don't sleep on the San Diego Chargers. The, the Chargers are going to be good. Uh, they had the upheaval of having to move to that new stadium, but they still have Phillip Rivers, and I love their head coach. He's buttoned up. The new head coach in Oakland. The new quarterback situation in Kansas City and them sa signing Sammy Watkins and getting rid of Marcus Peters. Things are volatile in Kansas City, and they've been the cream of the division for a while. So if the Broncos can sneak up on nine or ten wins this year, I would not be surprised. They could be knocking on the door right there, huh? They could. With Keenum and what you have defensively and your head coach uh, getting better, uh, certainly as a, as a game manager and as a head coach and as a leadership, uh, in his leadership, you, you have a shot to win nine or ten and maybe contend for the division. Uh, we've been asking everybody here at the owners' meetings, we're missing our owner, Broncos owner Pat Bolin. Do you feel like this is the year that he might be able to get in through the Contributors Committee? For me, it's priority number one for 2018. 2017, priority number one is, because I live in Philly, get an Eagles championship. <laughs> All right, so here's priority number one for me, 2018. I'm on the Contributors Committee, as you know. I'm a member. In August, I'll be part of the ad hoc group, the five-member ad hoc group on that committee that will meet, and we will nominate Pat Bolin. I am sure of it, 1,000% sure that we will nominate Pat Bolin, and hopefully we can get the entire committee to get him in, enshrined into Canton, in 2000, in August of 2019. That is the goal, that is my priority. Shouldn't be a hard sell, right? <laughs> I don't know why it's taken this long. I mean, the record is what the record is. Four different head coaches to the Super Bowl, all those wins, all the committees that he served on with the NFL, the leadership that he provided in terms of making the league money and all his partners money over many years planting the flag for NFL football in the Rockies alone. So I think his contribution to the game is unprecedented and unparalleled. It's really difficult to find any owner that comes close, in my view. More Super Bowl appearances than uh, losing seasons. Okay, didn't know that one. <laughs> I'll one. use that yeah. one. Let's get Patrick Smythe on the phone and get that one for us. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's a stat we use all the time. Uh, uh, Sal, what was it like in Philly this year? Uh, mm -hmm. You know, we saw you during the parade and everything. It's surreal still. You know, you wait so long for a Super Bowl title, and as a reporter, you cover the team for a quarter of a century. You give a quarter of a century of your life to doing something, and your family makes sacrifices, right? They miss you on Sundays. You're on the road constantly. And so it was a closure for my family and elation at the same time. Joy and closure. That's how we look at it. It's amazing how football can connect on so many levels, right? Yes, yeah, civic, family, personal. Uh, it's, 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 it's been a wonderful ride, and it's still going. It is. Sal, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate okay, it. Thank you.